So what else can I do to enhance this image? I think it's a good time to start playing with color. And actually, one thing I'm going to give a shot at is going into this corner and maybe enhancing the blowout just a little now. So I'm going to go down here to my color palette. I'm going to click on the foreground. And let's see, I like to pick kind of a color in the reddish, orangish area usually. For starters, not too yellow or else it looks a little green. This looks good. We'll start maybe here. Alright, now I'm going to go up to my brush here and I am going to select soft brush. Let's see, we are at 45%. That's quite a bit. And actually, this is a great area if you want to play with putting a layer down and then putting your color down at a higher opacity and then fading it out. That's perfectly fine. Um, I'm just going to wing it. Go down to about four. Let's try four. Let's see what happens with four. I'm going to swipe in right here. Give it a little extra swiping right there. So that brought in a little extra sun glare, and let's take a look and see what that did from start to here. I like that effect. I think that looks nice. So I'm going to go back up to contrast, and I'm going to either pump the contrast just a little, or maybe the brightness just a tad. Maybe both. It's always hard to tell when you start. Sometimes you think, oh no, that's too much, and then in the end you end up pumping it even more. I'm going to pump it to, I think, about... There. So back into adjustments and down to selective color. And here I can get to playing around quite a bit with how the image looks. I could increase the shadows of the reds. It would bring in the fullness of the lips. It would bring in the cheek color a little more. I'm kind of liking it where it is. I'm going to leave it. Now I can shift the reds a little, making them more golden like this. More blue. I kind of like the golden look, so I'm going to increase that just a little. Add just a twinge of magenta. And I think I'll add just a little red by decreasing science. And now I get to play with my yellows. I like to leave the black bar exactly where it is for this one. That's good. I like the yellow where it is. So I'm going to move on down to, let's try cyan's. Getting any pump in, just a little in the waves in my shirt. Do I like more? Do I like less? I like less, actually. I think it kind of draws the attention away from details in the background and the foreground and makes it more apparent on the model herself, which is me. Um, now down to whites. You can add some color i going to move this back down to relative. I don't know, actually, absolute's not so bad. I can decrease it. So I think I'm going to add 
don't know. Let's see here. I actually think I'm going to leave that at zero. In fact, I don't think I am going to use the whites at all. Now down to neutrals. Let's see. Pump in. Just a little bit of yellow. I'm going to leave just a little magenta out of the neutrals. And just a little extra red. Now down to the blacks. This is where I like to have a lot of fun. So I can add just a hue of blue to the blacks. And you'll see that rock kind of find lighting up a little bit. I think this is kind of nice because it makes a good contrast for yellows. Especially if I add just a little twinge more. We'll see. Add a little tiny bit of magenta to the image. I think I'm going to leave the reds where it's at. So there we go. That is pretty darn basic color correction for this image. And I'm going to go back in and take a look at my contrast and brightness one last time. Do I want to add just a little more to this? Or do I want to leave it where it's at? I'm kind of liking it where it's at. pretty nice. Alright, so let me show you where our image went from and where it's at now. This is where our image started. And this is where we leave our image now. So I'd say we made quite a bit of progress on the way this image looks. And I think it's a lot more ready. It's a lot more stylized. It's got good contrast between colors, as this one's pretty darn flat. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope this is very helpful.